from his studios in New York. It's time for Wake Up Call with Dan Tortora, where sports meets life. Here's your host, Dan Tortora. Welcome back here to Wake Up Call with Dan Tortora on WakeUpCallDT.com, your one-stop sports shop, and on MixLR.com backslash WakeUpCallDT. It is that part of the show for significant sound bites, and I have a trio of Syracuse players in the segment, significant sound bites today, that are going to be speaking on the Syracuse Orange starting 2-0 in the ACC, 2-0 in Atlantic Coast Conference play after defeating Notre Dame on the road and winning their first game in ACC play at home this season, which was against Clemson. So here is a trio of Syracuse players, starting off with Elijah Hughes and my conversation with Elijah after their win over Clemson, 61-53. to starting 2-0 in the ACC. Uh, it's huge confidence booster, you know, shows that he can compete and he's got to keep fighting. What can you say about Marek? He had 10 points in this game. Obviously, the fans showed him a lot of love. He got four rebounds. He had four assists in the game, two blocks, two steals, and no turnovers. You no, know, he's a player. You know, that's what he does. Uh, I like how versatile he is. You know, he just, he just makes plays. And as far as, you know, double digits, you led the way, but Tyus obviously did what Tyus does, and Frank Howard got out there and did some good things. Six out of eight of the players scored that were out there on the floor. Just what you could say about spreading the ball around. Uh, you know, we're all gifted offensively. We go up with the ball in the basket. Uh, we all find each other, so we're all really unselfish. Playing at Notre Dame, just what you can say about being in South Bend and what that game did to maybe create a little bit of, a little bit of momentum for you. Uh, it, was, it was cool, you know. It's a typical road game, you know, shots went in, and I made it better and really got our confidence up. What can you say about the team 15 games in so far, just what you're seeing? Uh, Those have been positive changes. Yeah, have yeah, you seen definitely. Different definitely. Uh, if we don't put our head down, we keep fighting. So you see that. When did that change, in your opinion? Uh, after New York. You know, New York was uh, kind of big for us, you know, really big eye-opener for us, so yeah. And then just what you could say about having uh, Frank, you know, back out there. If you feel like he's 100% now or close to that, I know he's been working to get there. Yeah, you know, he's, he's pretty much 100%. You know, he's going full speed in practice. He's just doing what he got to do, and he's, he's great for us right now. You had to wait a season being on this team and, and going through practice and whatnot. Just what you can say about the first 15 games for you in, in Orange and Blue. Uh, it was, you know, it's been great. You know, I'm just taking one day at a time, you know, just trying to get the most out of it. As far as being the guy you know, with the ball in your hands when the team needs you. I mean, from not playing last year because of the NCAA transfer rules and knowing what Tyus has done, what Frank's done, what O'Shea's done, just what you can say about finding your offense and and having trust from your teammates right away. Uh, coaches believe in me. My teammates believe in me, and they all know what I can do, so they try to put me in the best position to be successful. That coming from Elijah Hughes, once again coming off of Syracuse's 61-53 victory over Clemson. Clemson and Syracuse went into the Dome 10-4. and Syracuse was 11-4 and at the end of things. Clemson 10-5. and Clemson 0-2 in the ACC. Syracuse 2-0. and And we continue the conversation with the trio of Syracuse players, one-on-one conversations in this segment. Significant sound bites this morning. This one with Barama Sidibe. Just what you could say about that block that you had in the first half that set up the shot for Elijah Hughes and then getting two for yourself inside. Uh, that, was, that was a great play. Coach, that's what Coach wants to see every time. He wants me to get some shot block down there. So whenever I get those opportunities, I know he's going to give more, me more playing time and get more confident on me. So like, I just got to find, find time to make every game to make those kind of play for, for the team. You make the play, which obviously sets up points for one of your teammates, but then you get points inside yourself. Just what you can say about creating offense for yourself as well as for other people. I mean, I, I do that all the time in the game. It's a matter of the time when I have the opportunity to score the ball, when I get the down, touching down low, because I know when I get down there, it's a, I'm afraid of down low, down low too, but sometimes when I get the ball, I can pass it to the wide open guy too. I just got to keep working on it so to see more, to so, so coach can see more often. So. Do you feel like you're catching the eye of Coach Bayheim and he's seeing some of these positive things now? I don't know. He's, I, f- I think I think he can see some of those positive things, so get more confident on me. So I think 
And then inside with Marek Dolezal, just what you can say, he had 10 points in this game. He had four rebounds, he had four assists, two steals, two blocks, no turnovers, just you know, doing a little bit of everything in this game. I mean, he did great. He's working his, he's working his ass off every day, trying to get those minutes. He's doing a great job, so... When you see this team in a game like this, 61-53, to 53, what were your takeaways in a win over Clemson and just what it means at this point? Clemson is a great team. They have, like, two guys down low. They are very good. Thomas and other guy, they are very good down low there. So it's a kind of a like punishment for us because we got we have to sit down every time. We have to pay attention to Thomas whenever he caught the ball. We have to make sure that it, it doesn't touch the ball often because whenever he touches, he's going to make a play of it. How, going up against somebody like Thomas, what does that do to teach you and make you a better player? It makes you strong. It makes you realize you have to pay attention every time, you know. And then as far as starting 2-0 and in the ACC, just what you can say about the importance of that? I think it's, for now it's a great. We just got to keep fighting. It's a long season. So you never know. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. That coming from Barama Sidibe uh, once again here. Barama had uh, two big-time plays early on in the game. Uh, Tyus Battle had turned the ball over. Barama got to the other end, blocked a shot at the basket, which turned into a Syracuse possession, which turned into Elijah Hughes at the basket getting two points. And then Barama came down shortly after, worked his way inside, and went up one-handed for two of his own. So Brahma trying to do some things and trying to show you know what he can be to this team as the team moves forward. So a lot of respect to Brahma. I know that he's working hard and you know he he does create plays and he does create opportunities. I think people are quick to overlook Brahma Sadibe and I think that that needs to stop and hopefully that will stop. With that being said, uh, speaking of overlooking somebody, Marek Dolajai. I mean, this is somebody who came in and you know Adrian Autry went overseas to get this kid. There were guys that, I mean, there, there were teams that were looking at him. There were schools that were looking at him. But instead of just calling him on the phone, Adrian flew over to see him and see his father and spend time with him. He saw something in Marek Dolajai and got Marek Dolajai to Syracuse. And Marek, toward the end of last season, was taking shots and making him, showing confidence, being part of the offense. First game of this season, he attacked right away like the wheels were right there, that he was still running the car, that he was still in full gear, that he was still making it happen. And, you know, and then we then we see Marek in this game against Clemson, 10 points to go with four rebounds, four assists, two steals, two blocks, and no turnovers. And that's exactly where I start my conversation with Marek, and this is what he had to say. Well, just what you can say about your overall game. You had 10 points, four rebounds, four assists, two steals, two blocks, didn't have any turno- turnovers in the game. I just won't do everything, and I think this is how I can help the team. I do everything, and just a little bit of everything. Pulling, you know, getting those jump shots down, you know, making that three early on and, and making a couple buckets, just what you can say about working on your shot. Uh, I always say I was working on my shot every day with Coach Red, and I think it's just the work, what we're we doing, and, you know, it will come and get better. As far as where the team's at right now, just what you can say, starting 2-0 and in the ACC? Uh, we're just getting better, and we just, it's, the season is long, and we just need to get better every single day. Spreading the ball around, not just you, but Hughes as, as well as Battle and Howard and O'Shea and whatnot, just what you can say about everybody getting a piece of the pie, so to speak. Uh, I think this is a big game. Everybody get to the game something, and this is what we need every single game. Thanks, Brent. Appreciate it. Thanks, that coming from Marek Dolajai. Once again, a lot of success in this game and, and doing good things for Syracuse, you know, being one of those. I mean, he's a he's a center on the starting lineup, but when you look at his body type and whatnot, you know, he, he obviously looks more like uh, maybe a small forward, so to speak, but he's out there in the lineup, and he's hard to guard. He's hard to attack. He's hard to get after, and Alan Griffin and I spoke about that when we did our live show on location at home team pub this week is that, you know, he is a guy who is dangerous because how do you guard him? He could shoot threes. He made two of them in this game. He was two for three from long range and, or two for four from long range. So, you know, he hit threes in the, in the game against Clemson. He can attack the basket. He can dribble. He can face up and go after it. He grabs rebounds. So, you know, he's somebody who, yeah, you want to see put a little bit more muscle on and, and, and whatnot. But ultimately, look at what Marek Dolajai is doing. He's getting after the ball. He's not 
not turning it over. If anything, he's getting steals. He's blocking shots. He's getting rebounds. He's looking for his teammates and getting assists. And he can shoot. He could shoot. And like you said, he's been working out with Coach Red and getting better in, in that world with Adrian Red Autry. So a lot of respect to Red and a lot of respect to Marek Dolajai and, and, and the fact that you know, Adrian took the time to go out and see this young man and to get this young man, or else we wouldn't be talking anything about Marek Dolajai. So a lot of positives for Syracuse and the staff and the team as they move forward. And as we move forward, we're going to get into Wake Up Call with Dan Satora video live in studio. So you know that we're live every Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern Time. But on Fridays in the second hour of the show, we go live from inside of the studio simultaneously as going live on MixLR.com backslash DT. So let's take a step aside, and we'll be back in the studios in just a moment. 